Riot Forge first? Yeah, let's do Riot Forge really quick. Um, so the gist of it is that Riot um, has a publishing division, I think is probably the right way to go about it, where third-party developers can make games in the League of Legends universe using League of Legends IP um, and just pu- like ri- they'll be published through Riot Forge. Um, so like developer is whoever, but they make a game that's published through Riot Forge using League of Legends IP. And they talked about it, like how they do it and stuff. They pretty well, depending on the I- of the studio, obviously, they'll go, hey, are you interested in doing this? Um, pick a character that you like, <laughs> which is like really cool. Uh, the the people who are doing Convergence, the Echo uh, like God, that looks game, so good. Um, they kind of like were like, hey, uh, they, they got approached and they're like, hey, uh, what, what character do you want to do? And they're like, we'll do Echo because we can do so much shit with Echo. Uh, and it just kind of like turned into like a crazy thing. Um, so they did an hour long live stream through Nintendo's. Uh, I think it was through Nintendo because um, mm-hmm. I think all these games are being released on Nintendo. Um, and they talked about all four of their games. And then I've heard that there was mention of a fifth game but I didn't see any video of it or whatever. But the games are Ruined King, which is the Bilgewater Ruined King storyline with Misfortune, Yasuo, Braum, Pike, all those characters. It's like kind of like an RPG-esque game. Uh, it looks really, really cool, though. The biggest announcement about this game, though, was that it came out the day that they did the live stream. So it was out November yeah. 16th. Uh, I haven't played it yet. I haven't seen too many people talk about it, but it looks amazing. So I definitely will want to try that. It looks crazy. Um, next is Hextech Mayhem, which we talked about last week a little bit because it just got randomly announced. Um, it's a beat game by the BitTrip uh, runner people. Uh, it's uh, like a rhythm game. I, I, my friend uh, Sam, who used to who created Lola Podcast, he actually has been tweeting about it a bunch. He likes rhythm games and he's just been going through it he'd like fully complete the game but he's going back there and trying to like perfect all the levels and stuff Ooh. uh and it's just like it looks really really good he said it's like a lot of fun he said it's like pretty quick to beat but it has tons of replayability if you like rhythm games um and that's also came out on the 16th so feel uh make sure to check out both of those the next couple things though are new things that we hadn't heard about yet one being uh sorry i guess we did hear about the convergence which is the echo game it's a platformer type game with like a rewind mechanic it looks stylized wise like one of the most fucking great games i've seen (laughs) it's so great yeah convergence yeah it looks so sick yeah it's just such a cool art style uh they do have yeah, they have a little developer blog where they talk about um, like using Rewind as a mechanic and stuff and how mm-hmm. it differs from other games with Rewind. And I don't know, man. Like, I- I'm not a huge like side-scrolling platformer type person, but I probably will have to try this. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it-, it looks absolutely insane. It looks very um, uh, Metroidvania-esque. Yeah, it's really so. cool. And then the last one, which, Colton, I'm not sure if you've seen this yet, is called Song of Nunu. Uh and it's a game that's coming out sometime next year. Convergence also is coming out next year, by the way. I didn't mention that. And it is a game about Nunu and Willem. And it's kind of like an adventure type game, an yeah. adventure story type game. I don't really know how to describe it, but it looks really cute. <laughs> it does, yeah. It, it's I, I, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to describe the style either, but it's, yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, it's just one of those things that kind of came out of nowhere. And it's like, hey, we were already excited for A, B, and C, but this is kind of the game we're most excited for now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks super good. Uh, yeah, Nunu seems like a great character to do, like, a game like this. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be, like, it, maybe it might be, like, more aimed at, like, a puzzle adventure game. Maybe it will actually be something else, but it, it looks crazy, and I'm so glad that they're, like, doing tons of stuff like this. Mm-hmm. But I know Newton, uh, Nick, uh, sorry, yeah, I know Colton will be excited about that because he really likes Nunu as a character. Yeah, so. but, but Aiden, you got to remember um, when there's things, when they put out things that I absolutely will like, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to try it for like two years. Yeah. 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 And then I'm going to put in 40 hours over the course of like five days. He says with 500 ring tear hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to wait like a year and a half and then get into it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the only other thing was uh, I heard so like at the beginning of the live stream they say hey we have five games to show you they obviously only talked oh, about four yeah. but people were like oh I think here they made a nod to a like uh, Demacia game and I couldn't fucking Ooh. figure out where the fuck that was made so I don't know if that was just them not being able to count to five and people just being like ah they said five therefore there must be 
something hidden in this conference or something like that. No, nah, no. Nah, what yeah. what it is, Aiden, is that the next champion released, their ultimate drops you and your like challenge target into a mini game that you play against each other. Yeah. Into a fucking warrior wear game. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, like, no, I'm it, really it excited, It drops you into old-school Pong. Like, you guys both yeah. DC from the game for three minutes and play old-school Pong against each other, and the winner gets, like, 5K gold. That's yeah. It's just really cool. Like, I mean, obviously, like, League of Legends IP is super underutilized currently, and being able to be a developer that creates a cool game already and reskinning it as a League of Legends game or creating mm-hmm. something fresh and new as a League of Legends game not only means that you'll have way more options as people who like League of Legends but also games are going to come out relatively quick like the reality is like we're going to see four games within a year from Riot Forge minimum just because we know Rune King and Hextap came out uh, a couple days ago and then Song of Noon and Convergence will be out by the end of 2022 like we could see multiple games a year just because it, it's up to however many developers are working on shit. And that's so cool to me. Yeah, like, they, they can they keep up a really quick pace. Mm-hmm. And I think, like, having an established IP and, like, partnership with a big brand like this, um, right? Like, if you're a, a small game developer and, like, you come up with an interesting mechanic, mm-hmm. I feel like then it's like, okay, cool, now I need to spend eight times as much effort like coming up with like art and yeah. music and like a plot and characterization and it's like there there are some games where like the actual mechanic of it is the the, the like yeah. driving force of it and then if you can be like cool i'm gonna skin it league of legends and can just make the game i want yeah no I'm, I'm so fucking excited like the reality is like I'm sure you guys can all think of examples of games that you would love to see reskinned, mm-hmm. but like a great example would be like Riot's obviously doing their own fighter games, so they wouldn't do this. But Nick All Stars Brawl came out a couple months ago, the yeah. Nickelodeon fighting game, which is just the people who made Slap City uh, got approached by Nickelodeon awesome. to make a fighting game, right? And like if Project L wasn't coming out, and obviously Project L is very different than a like uh, 2D like platinum platform uh fighter um but like could you imagine like a league of legends type melee game like no that'd be so <laughs> sick it'd be so cool right and like the, the, yeah. with riot forge this is a possibility right and that, that's yeah. that's so fucking crazy to me yeah 